Hi, welcome back to Steve's video. Uh, this is Steve's fishing channel. Um, okay, my last video I brought to you was how to make ginger nut boilies. Today um, I'm doing chocolate boilies uh, made from drinking chocolate. The good old Cadbury's drinking chocolate. Now I'm not actually going to bore you with the video of me showing you what ingredients. Well, I'll show you ingredients, but. I won't show you, you know, all the details on how I mix it and all that kind of crap. Uh, I'm just going to show you the ingredients I did use. Okay, I use 75 grams. That's 75 grams of fine semolina. 75 grams of soya flour. 75 grams of maize meal. And 75 grams of cornmeal. Again, these three Netco ones you can get from Asda, about 175, 185 a packet. And you can't find where to get the soy flour. You get the soy flour from uh, Holland and Barrett's, and 500 gram bag is about 175. So that's the three I've put in there. With the drinking chocolate, I put 25 grams in only because it is a dark rich drinking chocolate. Um, I've added two eggs with the shell and a quarter of a cup of soya milk. A quarter of a cup of soya milk. I did originally start off with 45 grams of the powder, but it was way too sticky and I had to keep adding, adding, adding to make it more of a, a doughy consistency. Final outcome is this. Now I'm not going to use all of this, I'm only going to use half because it's way too much for what I really want. <coughs> you know, all my boilies are just trial and error. So, you know, I'm always thinking of new ideas, you know, new ingredients, new type of boilies, and, uh, you know, see how it goes. So, I'm just using this amount for now. I have, still haven't got my gun, I'm still waiting on it. I've got my table. Mix it out the way. Now, what I'm going to do. Let's just roll it up into a sausage by hand. God, it really smells lovely. I think the fish will love this, especially the carp. The thing is, if I let it dry overnight, it's not going to be long enough. So I'm going to stick it in the oven a bit later and dry it out a bit quicker. So I can take some with me to crack them tomorrow. Well, I've done two sausages. Because I ain't got a proper gun, some of them are a bit smaller. Here we go. Let's try to put the chemical down for about 10 minutes this time. And there we go. Nice boilies. Now, again, what you want to do. Get the container and just put a bit of flour, soya flour, a little bit of that, and a little bit of corn. Just like a quarter of a teaspoon. Shake it around, get it all covered at the bottom, and put the boilies in so they won't stick. What you want to do is just roll the boilies over the powder. And then they won't stick together either. That will actually come off when, when it's boiling. I've got the water on boil. Turn it up to number five.
and my sausages, what I'm wrong with that, it's just like rough guess on the, uh, the body size. If they're too small, then the bodies won't actually roll properly, and you just like pick them up, squeeze them together, add a bit more dough. If you've got a sausage machine for your boilies then you're okay. There we go, these ones are just a little bit too big but not too bad. calling this boily. Sorry you didn't see that, I went a bit too down. I'm actually going to call this chocolate crunch because it's got egg in and apparently fish can bite into boilies, what I've heard. And when they bite into it, you might just crunch something under water and it alerts the other carp or fish that there's food around. If that's true or not, I don't know. It's just what I've heard. There we go, two sausages. Rough ideas of the um, size. And there we go. Some may be a little bit bigger, some may be a bit smaller. Not happy with the size. Let's take them out. All my boilies I make are just off my head. I think of different flavours to add. You know, if the fish eat that, they eat. If they don't, they don't. I don't even know if there is such a thing called a chocolate boilie. I've never seen one or heard of one at the moment. The reason I put the little bit of excess powder in is just to roll them around and stop them from sticking to each other. Now out of that half, I've probably, the bit I've taken out in the half I've used, I've probably made about 30 boilies already. Wait for me water to boil. Now this uh, table did actually cost me about ten quid. The actual sausage gun, which you need to make perfect sausages, does cost about seventeen pound. So you're talking around about nearly thirty pound. For two devices where you can make your own boilies. Need a bit more flour in there. Just a bit of the semolina. Just more fine. Now this isn't adding to the the original ingredients, 75 grams. It's just the little bits I'm putting on to stop the boilies from sticking together. Oh man, that smells nice. I'll tell you, if I was a carp, I'd be eating that. It smells just wonderful.
it's not even sticking to the uh, table. That's what I've got left still. I may make a few more while I'm waiting for the water to boil. It should take a few moments. You need to get the water boiling and then once it's boiled enough, um, once it's bubbling quite a lot, you stick your boilies in. I, I, I would advise to stick like a quarter in at a time because then every time you put the boilies in it's actually decreasing the temperature of the water it's boiling but not rapidly and as I say it's still a bit sticky you can see but it's not as sticky as I thought it would have been Just continue doing this while I wait for the water to boil. Man, I'll tell you, if I was a carp, I'd be eating this all day. It, it, it really, really does smell lovely. I mean, really smell lovely. It's only chocolate powder. Now what I've been told about when you're using boilies, the best thing to do is put one on your hair big and then chuck a few out as appetizers. Because it's going to bring hopefully a few extra carp in to your swim. And once you caught one fish and you let it go, you're going to cast that roughly in the same swim, hoping that there's going to be some more carp for you to catch. If that's true or not, I don't know. So I'm still new at fishing. I've only been fishing a few months. I used to fish when I was a young teenager. So I'm beginning to like learn the techniques of fishing again. Do for now, the rest can go in the fridge freezer and freeze off for another time. Well, I'm now going to start putting them in boiled water and we'll see what happens. Okay, just to let you see the water is boiling. There we go. Tip them all in one go and tip like half in. Drying off. 
just waiting for these to boil and I'll put these on the same, what's the name, same tray and then I'll probably stick them in the oven a bit later to dry them off a bit quicker. Again, I usually only boil mine for about two minutes, between two to three minutes. And there we go. Chocolate crunch boilies. Well, hopefully it will crunch once they dry it off. They won't crunch while they are soft and wet. do is leave these for a few hours to dry off and then stick them in the oven and hopefully roast them off a bit so I can take some with me tomorrow and try them out. If they work and people want them I'll be happy to swap them with some fishing tackle sell them to someone. Well, thanks for watching Steve's Fishing Channel again. Um, hope you enjoyed me uh, giving you hints and tips on what boilies I make and the ingredients I use. Um, I don't know if I'll be making any more boilies just yet because I've got so many in the fridge freezer. So I've got about seven different flavours. I've got chili con carne, I've got mild curry, I've got hot curry, I've got Peach and syrup, I've got um, whole grain, uh, I've got pilchard, I've got pilchard and curry. Now I've got like a ginger nut and chocolate crunch. So <laughs> I don't think I'll be making any more just yet. I need to, you know, use some of these up before I actually do any more. Uh, I have got like full packets of the ingredients which I can use later and you know I've bought up a bit of stock you know just to keep me going for a little while until I need to buy some more but um, again thanks for watching this is Steve from Steve's Fishing Channel hope it's been some kind of use to you and uh, you know feel free to use my ingredients you know my, like, my ideas I don't mind you using them uh, maybe they might work in your like you know lakes and rivers and whatnot. Uh, I can't say they're going to work here in that like Captain Common and Mitchell Common and stuff like that 
because uh, the weather's gone, you know, colder now, and apparently fish will only feed once a day now. So you know, like, you know, unless you've got a fishery or something where they can like continue feeding and fine, you know, use the ingredients, you know, use my ideas, I don't mind. But um thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you again soon. Cheers for now. Bye.